Do you have high water bills? This may be caused by a multitude of reasons, like leaky pipes, water wasting appliances, even long showers, or surprisingly, the problem could be your backup sump pump. Most houses contain a 120 volt sump pump that are often overlooked and unseen and can stop working without notice. If installed, a backup sump pump kicks in to prevent the crawl space or basement from flooding. These backups, however, are not intended for long-term use and can result in extremely high water bills. This can be prevented by making sure your sump pump and backups are working properly. Hello, I'm AJ Jensen. I am your water and sewer supervisor for our great city of Southfield. I'm here to talk to you about backup sump pumps and the options you have to prevent flooding in your basement. Now you do have a couple options. The water assisted sump pump uses the city's water source that comes into the house. When your sump pump stops working, the water assisted sump pump kicks in and creates a siphon effect. It draws water out of the sump pump basin. There's no power required, but it does use the city water and that water does go through the meter. It's gonna cost a little bit of money to operate. It's not uncommon for the water department to receive many calls a month about a water assisted sump pump that ran up bills easy of $1,400 plus. You need a plumbing permit for installation for this. It must meet state and city code. You need to have a proper backflow preventer installed. There's a potential serious health hazard if you install a water assisted sump pump without it. Uh, you risk contaminating your drinking water. If there's a drop in pressure, um, be it a main break, a fire in the area, uh, fire hydrant flushing, uh, or a, a loss of power at the water department, if it drops too low, it has the potential to siphon that same water out of the catch basin back into your water supply uh, and contaminating your water supply at, at your faucet, and you don't want to do that. You can also use a 12-volt sump pump. Uh, it just runs on a plain, ordinary battery, car battery, if you will, um, but just know you have a limited time before the battery dies. Now, you need to inspect the battery periodically to, that when the pump is needed, that you have no surprises in the middle of the night. Uh, many 12-volt sump pumps have a self-diagnostic and will trickle charge your battery, keep it safe and charged, and will give you an audible and visual cues to when the battery is failing. A backup sump pump may be there to save the day, but remember, it is not a permanent solution to your 120 volt sump pump. So before you rely on a water powered or 12 volt battery backup, check your main 120 volt sump pump and backup pumps regularly to prevent flooding and high water bills. If you do require any repairs or maintenance on your sump pump, contact a local certified and insured plumber. Also, make sure your sump pump is up to city code and it has a properly working backflow preventer to make sure no contaminants get into your drinking water that may cause health hazards. If you have any questions or concerns about your sump pump, water bills, and other city works related inquiries, please contact 248-796-4860.